What's up, my name is Today, Zach Blake here, and today you're gonna see a little change in scenery. This is my bed right here. Hopefully it's not too weird, and that's my blinds. So, we're gonna be sitting here, and I'm gonna tell you a story about a trip that I had to Hawaii, which was actually last week, and you might not have known because I uploaded videos ahead of time. I worked to get that schedule for you guys. So, I, I made a bunch of videos, edited them ahead of time, and then uploaded it for last week. So, um, yeah, and during that time I went to Hawaii, and I had a couple of crazy moments that I wanted to share with you guys because I haven't done a life story in forever. So I have two things to say and basically one was um, I almost died at sea. I mean probably probably exaggerative but I mean it easily could have happened and I'm gonna explain that in a second. So no clickbait here. This is actually explanation. And not only that but um, my brothers almost uh, swam out and got stuck in the middle of the ocean. And so I'm gonna explain that in two steps. So I went to Hawaii and so when we got there, I just looked out into the bay of the ocean and I was like, you know what? I wanna just start swimming, you know? And I, I asked my brothers and I didn't expect, I expected like a, no, <laughs> why would I wanna go swimming out into the bay when we could just snorkel on the shore kind of area. And so I said, hey, you wanna, wanna go swimming, bros? And they were like, yeah, let's do it. And so we went out and we swam and I brought all of the stuff. I brought snorkels, I brought I mean, like a snorkel mask, I brought a snorkel so that when I swam, you know, I didn't have to like, you know, to swimming. And I brought flippers. They brought just goggles, that's it. They were just like, I wanna swim and not bring any flippers or anything. So we went out there, we started swimming. And the thing is, the shore is filled with sea urchins. And if you don't know what that is, it's like, a super spiky poison ball of death. That's what it is. And so we're swimming out there and it's really, really shallow. So we had to like swim over these rocks infested with these sea urchins. And so eventually we got to this end of the bay. End of the bay is like, you know, you have this and at the end of it, it's ocean. Just, you're out there. And at the end of the bay on the side is rocks. And I was like, you know what? I want to swim to those rocks. We can stand on it. We can look at all the stuff. The tide pulls, awesome. So I, I swam there, we got to the rocks and I noticed there's a butt ton of sea urchins on the floor. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no. And the rocks were sweat. Like I was like literally this close, this close to the sea urchins. And I swam, got onto a dry rock that was sitting on the thing. And I was like, boom, sat there. I was like, fine. Took off my flippers, took off the goggles, sat down. I was like, all right, come on guys. So my older brother comes in and he tries to stand up for some reason, tries to stand up on a slippery rock. And so he stands up. Boom, falls, hits his knee, and his knee is bleeding at this point. It's because those rocks are sharp and slippery. It's a bad combination. But he stood up, tried to, you know, stand up and slipped around. And turned around immediately and was like, I don't think I could do this. <laughs> and so my little brother is sitting in the back. And so imagine here, imagine me as the rocks right here. This is, I'm sitting on the rocks. I see my brother out there and my brother is standing on this rock and he's like just he just got up <laughs> slipped turned around is like i don't know my other little brother is sitting back there like in the ocean like yeah i, I don't want to go in and they were thinking what if we just swim around these rocks areas and go into the next bay and i thought that is the stupidest idea ever because you had to swim like a mile out it looked like there were waves crashing on on the rocks over there and you had to swim so far in order to come back in and you had to swim out basically into the middle of the ocean current fight the ocean current and then come back into the next bay and I was like that's stupid they're gonna die obviously and I was like hey guys don't don't swim don't do it and so my brother goes I'm like he's like getting ready to jump back off of the rock into the ocean I'm like dude stop turn turn there's room on my rock there's room up here <laughs> come here and so he was ignoring me and my little brother, I was like, Der hey, Derek, come here. And that's my little brother's name. I was like, Derek, come here, come here, come on to the rock. And he's like, there's sea urchins over there. And I'm like, there are no sea urchins. I have never seen a sea urchin here. There are none. And of course I was lying to him, but I didn't want him to go swimming out in the middle of the ocean because they can't do that. They don't have the strength. They're not sharks. They can't all the way out there. And so they ignored me obviously and started swimming. And so they ended up going out there, swimming out into the current and got stuck, obviously. I saw them swimming and splashing around and this was like their heads like just imagine the tip of my finger is their heads and they were splashing around and moving like this much and it was like 10 minutes and they would move like this much it's like really you're not gonna do it and so I was sitting there like should I call 911 because they're going out into the ocean current and they go they were going farther and farther and farther and farther and they were just drifting out and one side of me was like yes you need to go get help they need to 
they they're gonna get tired and start to drown out there because if they start swimming and the waves are up and down they're swimming and then eventually they get so exhausted that they can't swim they and then they drown because they they just you get to a point where you're so fatigued that you just can't swim anymore and you just drown and so I was thinking is this gonna be the death of my brothers me deciding whether or not to go get help but then the other side of me was thinking what if I call help and they don't need help and then I get like dude why did you like call the lifeguard on us because we were gonna swim and now we can't even do it so like I was thinking like like maybe maybe I was just overreacting or something and I didn't want to be like the oh I called 911 because I did not you guys couldn't swim so those were two sides of me like oh they're gonna die and oh they're they're fine and so after maybe 30 more minutes of them swimming out there I thought all right Maybe I should go get help. And so the suspense is building. And then eventually I see a lifeguard guy come by. And what I'm told is that he said, he came and he's like, Hey, um, someone uh, gave me a call that two girls were drowning out here. <laughs> and so, so apparently somebody called the cops and said, Yeah, there's two girls that are drowning out in the middle of the ocean. And my older brother was like, Oh, well, uh, no, we're fine. We, we can swim. He's like, All right, so you guys good? You guys want me to take you in? And uh, they were like, Well, I'm... I mean, while you're out here, you take us in. And so what I'm thinking is that they were getting exhausted, but they they have their pride. They say, no, we could have we could have done it. And so um, they ended up getting taken in. I could see them like dri going by on the jet ski, and I'm standing there like, all right, ah, now I gotta walk in by myself. And so I ended up walking all the way back by myself, and I was telling them like, it was it was good thing you guys got saved. They're like, nah. Those, the, uh, the people on the shore called apparently the cops and said that we needed some help. We didn't need it. And I was like, you guys needed the help. And so during all of that, the one thing that we forgot was sunscreen. And I know it's like during all of that, did you ever think of sunscreen once? No. And I didn't either. And I got burned so bad. And then I was like, ah, it's Hawaii. So the next day we rented paddle boards and I, I was like, I, I'm not going to waste a day. So my older brother, same older brother, goes out there, and my mom goes out there, and we have two paddle boards. And so I was swimming, and so I was swimming out there, and I was like, hey, mom, can I get onto your paddle board? Because it's kind of, I don't want to swim anymore. So I got on, and so it was just relaxing, you know? Me and my mom on paddle board, my older brother and my little sister were on the other paddle board, and it was kind of big. But I noticed in the bay there was a big current, and it was kind of bringing us back out to the sea, kind of the same problem as the other time. And so... What happened was, the worst thing possible could have happened, we, we were starting to drift out, and I was paddling, and I was like, alright, this is not working, we're not, we're not going anywhere, you know, and so my little brother, I mean, my older brother and my little sister were like, speeding by, <laughs> going to the, the rocks, the same rocks that I went to, you know, just to go look at them, and I was thinking, alright, let's go follow them, and it was like, this was us, or this was us right here, and so this was them, we we're like, paddle, come on, we can't even catch up to them, you know? And so it was getting to the point where it was like, ha ha, oh no, we're not moving to, ha ha, uh, we're not moving to, uh, okay, we're not moving. We're, we're, we're drifting out to sea. And so eventually it got to the point where we're freaking out. Mom was like, what if I hang off the back and, and swim and kick? And I was like, uh, okay, try that. And so I was paddling, nothing was happening. And in hindsight, that was stupid because she's hanging off the back, creating drag. So if I ever move it, it's like she's, she's moving, they're stopping the current, you know, of me going like this and moving the paddleboard. So I, I was like, you know, maybe, no, I wasn't thinking of it at the time, but I was stand, I stood up and I was like, maybe if I balance on the board, I'll have more traction. I could just paddle fast. And so she was like, all right, cool. How about I swim while you do that? And so she was swimming, moving the board back and forth. And I was like, ah, what are you doing? And I fell forward and the board came back and went, bah, and, and hit her. And she was like, oh my gosh. Ah. And she had like blood coming right here. And I was like, oh gosh, oh gosh. And now we're freaking out because I'm sitting here. We're drifting out into the middle of the ocean. I can't move this. And I was like, okay. And then I finally thought like, Okay, wait, mom, get onto the paddleboard, and this thing is unbalanced. This is hard to, to do. I was like, okay, just get on. Maybe I can I can paddle us on and hit us onto the rocks. And it was the other side of the bay's rocks. And these ones were very sharp. And if you know anything about Hawaii, it's all volcanic rocks. Very sharp, bubbly, sharp, you know, very thick rocks. And um, like obsidian. <laughs> so um, we were going, and I was like, okay, maybe that we're on it, now we can go. And so I was paddling to the left, you know, trying to 
to get it get us going back to the shore and it took forever and I thought we maybe we're gonna miss it because we were just going down with this current and apparently I, I, I hit the very tip of those rocks and I was like okay let's go and so I, I try to get off and I already land and I like I can already feel that I scraped my foot and so I scraped my foot up and I was like Ugh! Uh, and I was like, okay, mom, give me the board, give me the board, hold, hold the, um, the paddle. So I gives me the 50 pound board. I'm trying to walk up with it. And I'm like trying to balance on these rocks. Waves come, I go, bah, and I fall and I hit my knee, all my stuff. I hit my chest. At this point, my leg is bleeding. My other, my other leg is bruised. I've hit my shins now twice. I get up, I'm holding the board and I'm trying to balance. I jump onto the next rock. Another wave comes, I go, <laughs> hit my shin again and I'm falling. And then I pick up the board again, and my mom thinks, hey, I'll help him. You know, she's always, she's thinking, like, maybe I'll help him. So she takes the board and starts to, like, carry it, but push it forward. And I'm not ready to go into the next rock. So I'm like, ah, <laughs> fell again. And so I'm like, mom, no, oh, give me the board. I got it. So we get onto the shore. And I'm like, <sighs> from paddling, getting onto the rocks, balancing, holding this 50-pound paddleboard. And I go, all right. Okay, we're good. We're, we're on the shore. And she's like, Oh no, where's the paddle? And I'm like, Mom, you had the paddle. Where's the paddle? And we look out and like, now it's drifting out to the middle of the ocean. Like that, there's where the paddle is. And I can see it very small. She's like, well, you got to go out and get it. I'm like, what, what do you mean? I got to go out and get it. I have to walk past those rocks again, jump past the sea urchins and then swim. She's like, yeah. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, so I hand her the paddle board. And at this point, people are watching from the shore like, ooh, that guy just lost some money because if they don't do the paddle, uh, get the paddle, they're going to lose the money on the renting. So I literally got onto the rocks, balanced, tried to not slip off, jumped in. Like I had to like jump back in because a wave came in. I had to jump in so that I didn't like step on the sea urchins because there were so many on the floor. And so I jumped in, like tried to try to like, you know, float onto the top to kind of like get out back there and I swam with all of my might like a, like a, an Olympic swimmer just whoosh, 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 you know just swimming out there using my legs and everything and then I finally got to it got the paddle and I'm way far away from the shore now like this is me and I was like whoosh, you know just way out there and I was like already just tired and I realized I have this paddle in my hand I can't go full out swimming and now waves are coming and I'm like <clears throat> like swallowing water and I'm like and I think maybe if I get onto my back and swim, I'm like, you know, just paddling with my feet and then waves are coming, like, like sucking in water and I'm like throwing up. I wasn't throwing up, but it was like, <coughs> you know, cause all the salt water. So finally I get to the point where I'm like back at the rocks. It took me like another 15 minutes to get back there swimming with one hand. And so I finally got there and I'm thinking, how do I get back onto the rocks? I see all these sea urchins. There's not like even a good time. So I'm sitting there and all of a sudden wave comes. <laughs> back onto the rocks again once more i hit my leg again and then i try to get onto a rock and at this point i'm like i don't care if i get stung by a sea urchin i'm like uh, 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 got onto the rock and i look down at my foot and it's bleeding profusely my leg is all bruised up and now i'm finally getting a look at my leg and i don't feel any of this at this point like adrenaline is pumping through me and so um i uh finally got onto the rock and walked and balanced and jumped my way up and finally got to the <coughs> the shoreline area and you know, you know what people would, should say, like there were people watching and they, they should say like, Hey, are you all right? Do you need any help? Want me to carry that paddle for you? All that stuff. You know, normal person. What people said was just so patronizing. Some guy was sitting there like, <laughs> bit off more than you could chew, huh? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, huh? And so I, I'm walking and I'm bleeding now. People are like, hey, you couldn't swim out there, huh? You're in current, You're trying to like mock me. And I'm like, oh yeah, cool. So I eventually walk and, um, I get to uh, the area where I need to go and then I realize like I have cuts all over my foot and now I'm walking on sand and it hurt so bad and I look down and I, I still have the cuts it was a week ago and I'll show you right now at the end but I have cuts all over my leg they're kind of healed now so it, it doesn't look as bad but um, I have all these cuts and I was walking and I was getting sand in them and I was carrying this board and finally I got back to the room thing I sat there and I was like <sighs> and um, yeah, I had I had a very terrible experience on the paddleboard, but the next day I went out again. I still had the sunburn, and Hawaii was still still really fun. But the, that's the story today. I'll actually here look right while we're here. I'm gonna I'm gonna take take the camera off of its hinges. Let's see if we can 
oh, excuse my uh, dirty foot here, but um, so you could see the cut I had on the top of my foot, and this thing was big before, and this is this is looks really good compared to what it looked like before, but it was bleeding all over my thing. Uh, all over my like floor and everything and I had to wipe all this up But I had a worse one that I had on the bottom of my foot and here. Let me show you As you can see it's really really thick and gross and I know um, It looks weird, but you can see that it, that's that's healed. That's that's healing It was so deep and it hurt so bad that all of this stuff I was just got beat up on the rocks and I, ha I probably have all these bruises and stuff But they're kind of gone, but I can still feel them. You know how it is so I want to thank you guys for watching, excuse all the grossness, but it was still an, a captivating story, I, I think. Hopefully it's good enough. Um, I wanted to make another life story for you guys, because it seems like we're connecting, you know, on a better level. Hopefully people watch this, because a lot of people watch the Hello Neighbor stuff and not much else. I mean, I respect it, you know, you like what you like. But, um, so, I guess that's all I have to say. Thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed this story. It was, it was from my heart, you know. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. Tune into the next video. And uh, we'll have some more fun. So thank you guys for watching. If you subscribed, um, click the notification bell to become part of the no notification squad. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out, my dudes.